Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and this is question. This is a. Uh, um, I'm going to start answering question number one right now from the Pure Mathematics P3 paper from um, the International A Level Edexcel exam from October 2022. So this paper, I'm going to start answering it now, and I'm going to answer it question by question. So the first question I'll do in one video. And each other question I'll do in their own individual video so that I can save these videos topic by topic. So the first question here on this paper is about um, this improper fraction. It says, in this question, you must show all stages of your working. Solutions relying entirely on cal calculated technology are not acceptable. That's mainly for part B, which we'll see um, in a minute, which is about integration. Then it says, show that fx equals ax plus b. Uh, show that we've got fx equals 2x cubed minus 4x minus 15 over x squared plus 3x plus 4. And you've got to show that it splits up into this when you write it in this form. So here we have an improper fraction. Okay, the, we're starting off with this improper fraction where the numerator has an order which is uh, greater than that of the denominator. Okay, even if it was um, x squared terms in the, the highest term was x squared in the numerator, it would still be an improper fraction. When the numerator has... Um, an order greater than or equal to the denominator, then it's an improper fraction, which can then split up into a mixed number. Algebraically, a mixed number is where you have this, you know, this whole number part, you could say, plus the remainder over the original uh, denominator. So one way we can, um, one method we can employ to show that this becomes that is by using what's called algebraic long division. So to use algebraic long division, what I'm going to do is going to write out the uh, denominator as we do when we do long division on the outside of the division. So on the outside of the division bus stop, as they say, you can write x squared plus 3x plus 4. Um, you have to make sure that all the terms are there. So you're starting with x squared, then x, then constants, everything's there. And then you're going to write on the inside the numerator, which is 2x cubed. Now, the x squared term is missing from here. So in order to make everything go smoothly when we do the long division, I'm going to put 0x squared to give us a place for the x squared terms. And then I have minus 4x and minus 15. Now we say, okay, x squared goes into 2x cubed um, 2x times. All right. Then we multiply 2x with the three terms in, in this section here. So 2x times x squared is 2x cubed. And 2x times 3x is plus 6x squared. And 2x times plus 4 is plus 8x. And then we take these and we subtract these two lines. Now, when we subtract these lines, the x cubed term becomes 0, 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is 0. Then you have 0x squared minus 6x squared, which is negative 6x squared. And negative 4x, negative 8, take away 8x, which is minus 12x. And then I'll bring down the next term, which is negative 15. And then I go through the same process. So x squared goes into minus 6x squared minus 6 times. And then you multiply minus 6 with all of these terms, so you have minus 6x squared and minus 18x and minus 24. And we subtract this line from the one above it. So we have 6x squared plus 6x squared, which is 0x squared, of course, minus 12x plus 18x, which is 6x. And we got minus 15 plus 24, which is plus 9. All right, so now we have our answer. This is the quotient. So this is the whole number part, and this is the remainder. Okay, so we can say, therefore, that f of x is equal to, you have ax plus b, so you have 2x minus 6 plus, and then we have 6x plus 9, which is the remainder, over the original denominator, which is x squared plus 3x plus 4. So now, for us to write it in this form, it seems we have to take out the factor, there's a common factor of of 3 in this numerator. So if we take it out, then we'll be able to write it in the form they, they require. So you have f of x equals 2x minus 6 plus, the common factor is 3, so we write 3 times 2x plus 3 in the bracket over x squared plus 3x plus 4. And we see here, that's exactly in the right form. So we can say here a is 2 and b is negative 6 and c is 3 according to what they have here. All right, so a, b, and c are integers to be found. So I write it in this, show that it's, it's okay, so that's fine. 
right? If, as long as, even if we just wrote this answer down, we don't have to really write down the values of A, B, and C separately, but it's better to. Okay, so we have A is 2, B is minus 6, and C is 3, and we've now written this improper fraction as a mixed number. Okay, so there's the answer to part A of this question. I'm going to go on now to part B. Now, it says, part B says, hence find the integral of f of x between 3 and 5. So we split this up, as we mentioned, into this form, okay, um, which is the form that we wanted to, uh, we were told to write it in. And now this is the form that we can use in order to integrate this, because the way it's written here, you can't really integrate that easily at all. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use this form and integrate this between the limits of 3 and 5. So I'm going to integrate 2x minus 6 plus 3 times 2x plus 3 over x squared plus 3x plus 4. I'm going to integrate all of this with respect to x between the limits of 3 and 5. Okay, now, for the first two terms in this integral, there's no problem. 2x becomes x squared. That's 2x squared over 2. Add 1 to the power divided by the energy power. Minus 6 just gains x. Minus 6x. Okay, so so far so good. Now, this looks like it's a bit strange. How are we going to integrate this? Many people will think, oh, we need to split this up into partial fractions. So they will think, okay, we need to uh, factorize this denominator. But as you'll see, you can't actually factorize this because two numbers multiply to give you four and add to give you three. Well, there's no numbers that do that. If that was um, a minus 4 here, then you could use 4 and 1, but it's not. It's a plus 4. So this is not something that can split up into separate fractions. So you cannot split this into partial fractions. Um, that would be something that requires P4 knowledge anyway. So for us to integrate this, we have to think about um, other methods. Now, one of the things that this is kind of like a, a bit of a, a new type of uh, thing. In, in the, the, you wouldn't have found it in the old, in the, in the old C3. Okay, this is something which uh, requires you to understand integration by reversing the chain rule. Now, what we notice is that the numerator is some form of the differential of the denominator. If I differentiate the denominator, I get 2x plus 3. And here you have a multiple of 2x plus 3. So you can see that the numerator is of the form of the differential of the denominator. Okay, so that's something you should always look out for. If I differentiate x squared plus 2x plus 4, I get 2x plus 3. Okay, so the numerator is of the form of the differential of what's in the denominator. So what I'm going to do is, the way I like to write this, I'll write this as it is. So 3 times 2x plus 3. Then I'll write times the ln of the modulus of x squared plus 3x plus 4. And then we divide by the divide by the differential of what's inside the function. We divide by the differential of this, which is 2x plus 3. Okay, I'm just like to show my steps here. You don't have to, I mean, a lot of people won't write it like this. But then what you notice is the 2x plus 3 here cancels with the 2x plus 3 there. So we're left now with x squared minus 6x plus 3 times the ln of the modulus of x squared plus 3x plus 4 between the limits of 5 and 3. Okay, so now we are getting somewhere. We can now try to um, put the values of x of 5 and 3 in here and then hopefully get our answer in the form that they want, p plus lin q, where p and q are integers. Okay, so what we can do here, we can replace the x with 5. So we have 5 squared, which is 25, minus 6 times 5, which is 30 plus 3 times the lin of the modulus of, that's going to be 25, plus 3 times 5, which is 15, plus 4. Okay, and I'm going to minus or subtract from this. So I don't need to ha have this bracket here anymore. Let's get rid of this bracket here. Okay, so I have minus, I'm going to put this in brackets because it's going to be affected by this minus sign. So I have um, now 3 into there. So I have 3 squared, which is 9, minus 6 times 3, which is 18, plus 3 times the lin of the modulus of, that's going to be 9 plus another 9, uh, plus 4. Okay, so now let's just work this out. 25 minus 30 is minus 5, plus 3 times the lin of, now, this is all positive, so I don't have to put the modulus sign now. That's 44 minus, and I have here 
uh, let me keep this in a bracket for now. That's going to give me minus 9 plus 3 times a lin of 18 plus 4, which is 22. Now, I don't need to put the modulus again because this is now positive. We know it's positive for sure. So you don't need to write the modulus sign now. So that's lin 22. Okay, now let's just um, expand this. You have a minus 5. And I'll put the like terms plus 9 plus 3 lin of 44 minus 3 lin of 22. So it looks like this is going to work out. 9 minus 5 is 4. And I'll take this 3 out for now to make it easier. So lin 44 minus lin 22. Uh, as we know from the laws of logarithms, we can divide these. Um, these two, this is 4 plus 3 times a lin of 44 over 22. So you have 4 plus 3 lin 2. Now we know that they want to express it in this form p plus lin q. They don't want to have a constant here. So what we can do, we can use a power law and write this as 4 plus lin of 2 cubed. So you end up with 4 plus lin of 8 as your final answer. Okay, so there we have the answer to this question. Now, if you wanted to be sure that you did the right thing, then what we could do is we can take the original function and we can integrate it in our calculator. So we can use a calculator, all right, and we can um, use the integral button here, put um, our fraction, and I could just write this as it is, 2x cubed minus 4x, minus 4, use the x over here, minus 15, so that's the numerator, divided by, and I have x squared, so I take x and squared, plus 3x, plus 3x, plus 4, plus 4, with respect to x, okay, and the limits are 3 and 5. So 3 down here, and then 5 up there. Now when I press equals, all right, it's going to give me this value. It won't give it me in the form that I want, okay? But what we can do is to make sure that we've done the right thing, we can find out what 4 plus lin 8 is. So we see this, I'll store this as a, so we can just make sure that we, we you know, have the same thing. So that's 6.07944. 6 so let's see what 4 plus lin 8 is. 4 plus the lin of 8, and it should give us exactly the same value. And it does, exactly what we had before. So 4 plus lin 8, we know now that we have the right answer. Because, of course, in the exam, you're not going to have the mask scheme with you. So there's no way that you'll be able to tell if you know your answer is correct, if you made a silly mistake somewhere, which is easy to do. Okay. Um, Although the fact that you came out with integers is, is good, but you could have made some really silly mistake, like two cubed, you could have written a six by mistake, just by just, you know, um, absent-mindedness. Two cubed, some people write that, maybe they write it at six. But to make sure that you haven't made a silly mistake, you can do that. You can find the integral using the calculator, okay? And you can make sure that your answer gives you the same value. Of course, you can't just use a calculator and write this answer down. You won't get any marks for it. And that's what they mean when they say um, solutions relying entirely on calculator technology are not acceptable. That's what they mean there, all right? But using the calculator to check your answer is perfectly fine, and it's a good practice, especially if you have time to do so, and it makes you rest at ease that you've done the right thing, okay? And you can carry on uh, with some sort of peace of mind. So that concludes this uh, question, question number one from P3 of October 2022. Uh, now, the important things to take away from this is the way to integrate this. I think a lot of people would have had problems with this integration of, of this particular thing. Yeah, so most people had problems, especially doing this integration here. Okay, so always look out, especially if the question has a lin in the answer, you're going to definitely have something like this that caused that lin to occur, where you had the numerator as the differential what's in the denominator. So you see something in the answer with a lin after an integral, you're looking out for the numerator being the differential of what's in the denominator. And you can see that very clearly here. If you differentiate x squared plus 3x plus 4, you get 2x plus 3, which you see in the numerator. So you end up with 3 times a lin of that denominator. Okay, so that's something important for you to realize. And also, um, if you look at the examiner's report, some people had problems with, for example, going from, from this step to that step using the power law. Stuff. So you have to make sure that you know your laws of logarithms and express things in the form that they ask. You see, it's not p plus something times lin q, it's p plus lin q. So they want q to be an integer, but they don't want, they want, they want to have a coefficient in front of the lin, just 
one in front of the lint. So you have to, re re writing it like this is not good enough to get the full marks. You have to write it in this form. We have something plus an integer plus one times lint eight times a lint of an integer. All right, so those are a few points at the end of this question, which um, you need to take note of. Um, other questions from this particular paper, October 2022, P3, can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from this topic of, um, I guess I'll put it under integration, okay, and also uh, algebraic manipulation for the um, first part. I'll put it under both of those. Um, so you'll find it under both of those for P3. And you can also um, subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link over here. Thank you for watching and see you soon.